on is that feature see Brony here. Uh, and I just found a car here. Not just your average car I find here in the streets here, parking lot of Los Angeles. I don't know. Specifically Lakewood. That's where I'm at right now. Cyclists passing by. And uh, guess what I found, guys? It's, it's, it's Japanese. And it's made by Nissan. Probably guess what it is. Ready? One, two, right there. <laughs> right, that right there is a Nissan R35. Man, that's, this is actually uh, one of my, uh, I think a fifth time I've actually went close to a GTR R35. And uh, this thing is a masterpiece right here. And I uh, actually, this is, yeah, this is a black edition GTR. I can tell by those wheels. Um, hold on. I don't want to get too close to the car because I don't want anyone to get suspicious about this thing. But look at that. That is amazing. Like all clean, sleek. It also has that, that toe, the toe hitch thing over there on the front. Like this thing is really mean. I actually have this exact same car in Forza Horizon, uh, Forza Horizon 1, and uh, that's the that's the GTR that was fully modified to go 270 miles an hour. And yes, if you've seen that that GTR race against against the Vils Bugattis, and this was the exact same car except mine was black, and it doesn't have that wing on the back, uh, so it's all fixed. So everything was all like heavily modded, cambered, but this thing is like, come on, I'm like why would you not like the GTR? This is like the Xbox or PlayStation of Nissan because a lot of car lovers, especially Japanese lovers, would love the GTR. So, that is all guys. I love this. I love a GTR. Although I'm, I prefer a Lexus LFA, but this car is really nice. I'm sorry if I'm recording in a bathroom. Sorry about that. Um, I'm in a restaurant right now. Um, I, although the GTR is a really good car, you know, for, you know, it looks good and stuff like that, you know, it's a really good car in Forza, but um, the only problem with that car that especially I have problem with is the fact that the car is, has heavy understeer, horrible, horrible understeer, and uh, that's why that car wasn't really much of a car for Goliath, especially for a GTR that goes 270 miles an hour, yeah, the reason for this is because the the front section of the car even the real one it's it's really heavy and sometimes the front tires since it's all-wheel drive it cannot keep up with the um, with the absolute speed um, when you when you take it to corners I mean of course there's some people will disagree with me like that um, because there are some GTRs that, are, that can perform well around the track but I'm just saying the GTR in general though but all in all though I, it's a really nice car and I like the GTR in general so